So now let's use the model that was created by Mr. Model Test and build a Mr. Bayes block so we can do a Mr. Bayes analysis. So I do all of this in the Win32 version of Pop B. It's a very useful editor for this sort of stuff. So let's go get that file that we just created. And you can see here past the AIC section where it talks about Mr. Bayes. All we really need to do here is copy this part, the L set, because we're going to build other models around this. So first thing we're going to do is begin Mr. Bayes, and we'll just paste that in there. We're going to add some other items uh, before that. So we also want to create a log file just to keep track of the analysis. And so log start and file name and then give it some name that's useful to you. And if you're using this on the cluster, it's good to add this command, even though I think it's the default. The set auto close equal to yes and no warning equals yes because if it's asking you questions, the cluster is in a non-interactive mode and it'll just hang. And now let's create our character sets. In this case, let's just do a CO1 and 16S. Here's our CO1 and our 16S. I like to make them pretty. So now we want to create partitions. And Mr. Bayes, you do this by the partition command. Then you give it some name that you like. In this case, we'll use genes. Then it equals two. There's two partitions. And now you identify the two partitions that you've created up here with the care sets. And then you have to set the partition to the genes, or at least to the name you just gave it. So now we're ready to create the models. But before you do that, what you want to do is unlink all the default models. So the command for unlink, and we un I just unlink all of them. And the reason you do this is because by default, all parameters would be shared or linked across these partitions unless we do this. And another thing we want to do is change the rate to variable across all partitions. And this allows the overall rate to be different across the partitions we've identified. So the rate PR equals variable. That's the, the key change here. And now we want to set our models. So L set apply to 1, which refers to CO1, because it's the first one listed in the gene partition. And NST equals 6, rates equal invariant gamma. That is this value here that we just copied and pasted, so I'll delete that. So essentially, all you would do is copy that right into here. The L set, you have to do apply to if you're new partitions. And the second, let's say that we did uh, 16S, and it had a different model. Let's say its model was you know, NST equals 2, rates equal gamma. So we change this to a 2 to represent 16s. Now we're ready for the MCMC, or the Monte Carlo Markov chain command that starts the analysis. And I usually do 50 million generations, unless it's just not possible. And sampling these generations every 1,000 I put it the, the end chains equal to 4 and say branch slice equal to yes, even though those, those are defaults, just in case. And I usually include the sum p and sum t values because it's a lot easier to have these done by the cluster than to have to download the t and p files and do it yourself. Um, I just arbitrarily take 25% of one th every 1,000th of 50 million. So 12,500 is 25% uh, of what's at 50,000. And then stop the log file. Log stop. And then end. And now save it, and you're ready to go. This should run fine on the cluster.